Hello everyone! Welcome to a look at Spellforce 3. This is an RTS slash RPG hybrid game. It's a pretty unique RTS game in that regards because you have heroes that can get different items, they level up during the course of a game, and yeah, and that's kind of unique. I haven't really played a game like that since the previous Spellforce games, and then also like Warcraft 3 uh, comes to mind as well. So I don't know, like I'm not going to promise a full campaign run here, but I did at least want to take a look at it get this up so that all of you can see this and decide if you want to invest some time into Spellforce 3 on your own. So again, I don't know if we're going to go through the entire campaign, but I am going to play a little bit here just because, well, there is a lot of things to do at this time of year, so I don't have a lot of free time right now to actually do it, but uh, we'll try to get as far as we can. You so let's go. You General Sentenza Noria, oh, that's commander cool. of the Wolf Guard. Yeah. According to rumor... A group of rebels planning to overthrow the crown has taken refuge in a deserted castle in the wilds of Iskander. Their leader, a mage named Isamo Tahar, is as charismatic as he is radical. It is your job to end his scheming, one way or another. Okay. I believe the actor who voices Geralt of Rivia from the Witcher series is one of the main characters in this campaign. Which I'm pretty excited, because I like the Witcher series, and I like the actor's performance in that game, I guess. Ah, oh, it's Bambi. It's true, sir. They're inside the fortress. Good. What about the outpost? They've set it up and are waiting for you to take over and give instructions. The new guy, Private, um... Carpool? Yes, that one. He's in charge right now. Good. I've told you before and I'll tell you again. This mission is important. The man inside that fortress, Isamo Tahar, he's more than just an ordinary lawbreaker. He's a traitor, he's a mage, and he's a murderer. We are the best the Royal Army has to offer, and the Queen put her faith in us. So let's not fail her. Now move to the outpost. That is definitely Geralt of Rivia. <laughs> and I love it. Um, I guess Geralt is now in the command of an army. Alright, so controlling your heroes, I'm sure we'll figure it out. It's an RTS game. So you can see up here that our heroes do have their own inventories. We can go into their... Where is it? Actually, that's kind of, that's kind of cool. How do we get into their... We'll make inventory? our stand here. Maybe we can't do that yet? What is it? I'm sure it'll tell us at some point. Yes? You can interact with your surroundings by clicking on objects of interest or NPCs. Okay. Fine. Careful! Wolves up ahead! Okay. Murder them. Whirlwind strike. Restore. That's like a heal spell. Shield bash. Rabbit, awesome. what a lovely piece of earth this is. How do you like that? Oh god, oh god. What are these, spiders? For the go, 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 go. I like how their skills are set up, so we got Q, W, and E. That's, that's nice. Made up your mind. Let's go. Ooh, what is this? I'll take a look. Hmm, that could come in handy. Aha! Take all. Okay. Are you going to tell me how to get into their inventory? How to look into the controls. It is F5 for their inventory. So you can see every single hero can be equipped with items that we find. So let's see, what do we have right now? Block chance 12%, attack speed and cast speed reduced by 20%. This buckler does not have that, but also has a lower block chance. Hmm. Actually, I don't think I really want you to have this, though. Because it looks like you're supposed to be a tank. Eh. We won't roll with that yet. Oh, hello. That the outpost? Yes, sir. Good. Then let's find Private Carpo. F8 for the quest. That's not, that's not quest. Here we go. You are on your way to an allied Northander outpost. Your mission is to regroup with the Northander forces and stop Izumo Tahar's insurrection. You've reached the Allied Outpost along with the Wolf Guard. Talk to Bertrand Char Carpel to get more information. Very good. 
All right. Many people you meet during your travels can be interacted with. All right. Hmm? Commander. Huh? Um, sure. General Noria. It, it's an honor. Private Carpo. Report. How much resistance do we face? Impossible to say, sir. We've captured two of the rebels in the woods, but they wouldn't talk. All we know is that there have been some troubles within the, um, resistance. That might be to our advantage. What happened to the patrol? Where are those two rebels you captured? Can I talk to them? I am afraid that won't be possible, sir. They're dead. How? Poison. They had it in their robes and swallowed it once we left them in their cell. That was careless. You should have searched them more thoroughly. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm sorry. You mentioned troubles within the resistance. What do you mean by that? The prisoners wouldn't tell us, so we waited for your arrival, as you ordered. As you might know already, Tahar and his mages barricaded themselves in the old fortress. We'll need to find a way inside. And that's what we'll do. Anything else? No, sir. Good. Let the workers know I'm in command now. We need to get this camp and our men into shape before we can make a move. Understood. Get over here, men! Yes, you! Cool. For those of you who don't know who this is, General this is Sentenza Noria, oh, really? spy master of the Queen and commander of the Wolf Guard. He's the one in charge of this operation, and from now on, you'll follow his orders. Understood? Yes, sir! General? Yes. First, we need to... Rebels! We're under attack! Blazes. Keep it together. We'll show them what it means to take on the crown. Damn dirty rebels. Pray tell. Attack! What is it? Uh, let's see, can we pause the game at all? Is that a- well, besides this? Ah, whatever. Whirlwind Slash! Rotate the camp so we can see what's going on. Heal. Deadeye. Yes! Whirlwind Slash! Beautiful. Awesome. Oh, that was all of them, I think. Are you alright, Gwen? I know how to defend myself, baby brother. But oh. thanks for asking. Quiet. If Tahar knows our location, it won't be long until he'll launch another attack. We should stock up on resources first, and then set up a barrack to arm our men. Let's begin. Ah, RTS Carful, stuff. get the hunting cabin manned, and see if we have any lumberjacks among our workers. We need wood. All right, Understood. So. There's plenty of fish in these waters too, so maybe. Sure, whatever helps. Oh, okay. Buildings need at least one worker assigned to them in order to function. If a building has no workers, it won't perform any tasks. New buildings are automatically assigned to maximum worker capacity if free workers are available. Remember to always keep a handful of workers assigned to your capital, where they will serve as resource carriers. Not all buildings need to be filled to maximum capacity. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we got some workers right here. So I think we don't actually control the workers. We just build, and then they automatically do stuff. Uh, so let's go to... Where's the build menu? Construction menu. There we go. So tier 1 requires blueprints. Oh, maybe they just want me to man these things. There we go. Good. Now so let's we're generating the food here and wood there. Okay, so now we can build... Okay. They are... Guiding us step by step. No problem. Let's rotate the building and... Well, okay, yeah, that works. Very good. I'm ready. Alright, let's say control one. So right now I think I pressed the button that locks us on to whatever group we are currently controlling. Eh, it seems alright. Explore the I Iskander Wilds. Explore north, explore the quarry, old mine, and southern plateau. I assume they'll start talking to us after this barracks is done. Uh, let's assign more workers to the logging cabin. So what's kind of cool about this game is that it's kind of set up in a, I don't want to say province, but like area by area. So right now, we can have control of this one area that has its own resources. 
then as i'm sure we're going to see here in the future there's going to be multiple areas in every map you have to build an outpost in every single one and then you claim that area and then that area can get its own set of workers and then it, it kind of uses its own resources as well but you can share resources between each area that's why it's saying that you so, need these people Carpel, in the city center where you to from? carry resources around we never got the chance to talk back in gray keep some village in iskander doubt you'd know it hmm. and how did you get the lord marshal to recommend you Gwen, just stop pestering him, okay? All right, all right. Hmm? We'll just have you go on your own. Well, the barracks is taking a while to build. So oh, wait, I, <clears throat> that's a dead end. Time. Yeah, but yeah, these are four heroes. I'm sure we'll be fine. For the north. Yes. Yes. Huh? Huh? Okay. Yes. Oh, there is a person dying here. <laughs> or maybe I guess they're dead. So we get a crossbow, a composite bow. Okay, take all. Let's see. So can we switch? Oh no, your weapons are locked. Never mind. We can't switch with you. Fair enough. Now let's man them. The quicker we get those soldiers armed, the better. Oh. Hold on. They want me to do tutorial stuff. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. So we already got a man. The barracks like to recruit military units when you first built. Only the weakest tier units will be available for training. Invest in unit upgrades or find new blueprints to unlock higher tiers. Okay, so right now we can just unlock an arsonist. Range unit deals damage to multiple targets in a small area. Two wood and three food, of which we do not have much of. But okay, we'll recruit a little bit. Orders. Go back up here, and let's go back to that. So I'm just kind of curious if I want this caster. Oh, no, she can't use those. Okay, they're red out. But you can use a buckler. Maybe not. Okay. Chop, chop, man. Never mind. Let's get to work. But this person can use a crossbow. Okay. So, We're not going to do that. A question? Mm -hmm. This coup Tahar is planning, if we don't stop him, do you think he'll have a chance? No. Even with support? I've heard that House Iskander is sympathizing with his cause. Tahar's cause is power. The rest is just verbiage to get a following. And even if it weren't, and this revolution he's planning really is about the safety of mages, Aelot Iskander doesn't care about that. If he is supporting Tahar, it's because he's hoping to gain something from it. Hmm. Makes sense. Yeah, I agree. So let's train out these two arson squads. Because they do train in, uh -huh. in squads, so Take I guess their squad is the size of three. Okay. What? And I don't think we're going to be needing to defend against any attack here. It looks like this is kind of a dead end, so we will move up Good idea. here with the heroes. And just kind of wait for the squad to be trained up, I guess. Commander. Because it looks like we're actually blocked off right now. So they're probably going to be like, use the arsonist to take down the blockade up there. That's my guess. Need something? Got it. Or they're going to want us to train to recruit squads. So I guess we do that. Well, so this is the basic foot soldier. Basic infantry unit effective against pikemen, weak against cavalry. Well... Did you say something? I Awesome. Commander? Uh-huh. There we go. Ooh, we can do formations. That's kind of neat. Yes? What? Is there any other path that I'm missing? Of course. No, we just have to wait for us to recruit. <sighs> well, um... Cool. Oh, wait, maybe this way. Understood. Hmm? There we go. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That way? All right. I'm ready. Orders? All right, let's do it. Oh. Heal. 
Shield. Oh. Shield bash. That looks like a filthy rebel. Kill the rebel. Need something? Say the word. Did you say something? Make up your mind. Take him down. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. And we heal. What is it? Yes. I was able to rotate the camera before using the middle mouse button, but now I can't do that. I don't know why. Did I shot? Oh, Focus fire there. Heal spell. Nice. For the queen. Go get the crossbowman. Not now. Beautiful, I'm beautiful. Ready. All right, let's add some more squads to our army. Oh, right, I forgot I did that. Huh? Okay. Come down there. Mm -hmm. Do people heal on their own? They do. Awesome. Pray tell. Commander. Of course. Grab that loot. We'll be swift. Huh? Someone grab that loot. All right. I'm assuming we'll find a vendor later on that we can sell this stuff to. What? Okay. Commander. And that just said that there was no raw food left in the area. So I'm guessing we're out of fish over here. Yeah, we have no more fish to, to eat. Um, well, I guess we just keep exploring. I'm ready. The arrows are knocked. Huh? Add those recruits to our spawn. What? Hmm? Right. Did you say something? Hmm? I'll take a look. What do we got? A flame burge. And a great hammer. Okay. Let's see. Your weapons are locked, so we can't do anything with you. You can't wield those. You can wield the flame burge. Why not? Although you lose your shield bash skill, though, don't you? Hmm. I guess that is a problem. Hmm. Alright. Well, let's go down here. I'm ready. I'm kind of surprised it hasn't have a... Oh, wait, hold on. Can we interact with that? Um, surprised that it hasn't had us build an outpost yet in these other little areas. You notice dried blood on the bars of the cage? Seems like whoever was trapped managed to escape or died. Wind and rain have left um, marks on the wayside. The writing on the wood is barely legible. Okay. That wasn't super exciting. Sure. Blazes. They mutilated him. You think the rebels did this? Yes. They didn't rob him as highwaymen would have. Then why? Why did they kill him? Give a person power, and you see their true face. Maybe they slaughtered him just for the joy of it. Another reason to get that bastard and hang him by the neck. Indeed. Yes. Indeed. What? Yes. Anything over here? Okay, that just goes back to where we came from. As you command. Proceed onward. Did you say something? Yes. I'm ready. Commander. Get ready. Go to them. They have an archer. They have arsonists. Let's go kill them. Yes. Onwards. Not now. Shield bash. You need something, Commander? Hmm? Easy. We'll make our stand here. What? All right. Yes. Did you say something? Easy enough. I'll take a look. Oh, um, I still need to talk huh? to you. My bad. Right. Good. That should suffice. Whoops. <laughs> so, Carpal, that fortress you mentioned, is that the ruin up north? 
Yes, sir. That's where Tahar's hiding. All right. Then let's take some men with us and put an end to this bastard. We should be able to blast through his barricades now. With the arsonist, probably? Okay, so find a way inside the old fortress, investigate the side insurance, main insurance, and we still need to explore huh? anyway. So, we haven't really mm -hmm. lost time. We've been doing, I guess, some of the side missions. I hope we get some kind of experience for this. For the queen! Kill the deer! Or don't. It's fine. Can we interact with this? What is it? It's glowing, so there is some. There we go. Nasal helmet, Legionnaire's helmet, gold. Gold. Does the helmet actually show on the character if we put it on? What do we got here? Plus 40 HP. Sight range reduced by 30%. We probably don't want that on our archer. 20 HP. Sight range reduced by 10%. And this gives resistance to elements, it looks like. Oh, okay, cool. Yes. I... I get a kick when items change people's looks. I, it's a, you know, commander. That's not always a guarantee in, in like hybrids like this. Not that, that there's many hybrid games like this. I guess. Make it quick. Take him down. Oh, this will be fun. Let's go see what this is. Amulet of Whispers, a rare item. Additional damage type, black. Okay. This amulet was created by Dark Elven Mages in Mind. Necklace helps the wearer to communicate with the powers from beyond. Saturates every attack made by the wearer with a powerful black magic. Alright. Sounds like something that our leader should have. Because I think he has the highest DPS with the dual wielding. At least I would believe so. Alright. So side quest done. We got some items. Maybe we're not going to deal with um, outpost stuff. Because I played a couple test games with, like, multiplayer. Yes. And I was hoping to get into those mechanics because they're pretty cool. Alright, so we must have to go back to the... Up here? There we go. Easy. Attack up there. You got it. Charge! Ooh, calf. Murder them immediately. Shield bash. Hmm? Not now. Heal, heal. There we go. Kill that calf. For the queen. So the F keys, F one through F four, cycle through your heroes. Heal over there. Yes. Awesome. So, like, Warcraft 3 is one of my favorite games of all time, and one of the reasons I really loved it was because it incorporated heroes into an RTS game. So, yeah. All right. This is pretty cool. As you command. Mm-hmm. What are these? Tiara's breath! Kill them! What? Oh, this is also rebellion? Get oh, that's the something my camera rotation. Whatever. Heal! Hi. Let's see them catch this! So they said that they do small AoE damage, so we probably want the arsonist targeting in Light like groups up. of soldiers. Heal! What is it? Awesome. Very cool. Heal up. Commander. Alright, so leveling up. Oh god, Gwen. We can give you an attribute point and level up one of these mini spells. Holy shit. Okay. Intelligence. Determines the damage you inflict with intelligence based weapons and abilities. Amount of health points as well as physical resistance. Amount of damage you inflict with willpower based weapons and abilities as well as the total amount of focus points also increases your innate magical resistances. What does healing use? Does it use anything? Alright, well what about this? Increases spell power. 
Um, oh, here we go. It's, uh, intelligence. This is also scaled off of intelligence. Okay, so we want to level up her intelligence. And then for an ability point... Leech 2% of all auto attack damage inflicted. That's interesting. Verdict. Damage and interrupt target enemy. Restore, so that's what we have right now. And we've already learned that. Tempor temporarily apply shielded to target ally. Hmm. Increase the spell power. Let's give her some more offensive stuff. That should probably be pretty cool. Alright, Ens Enselm? You're the shield bash person? Uh, yes. Yes, I believe you are. Okay, so you have access to white magic, black magic, and then a discipline tree. So that's where we get shield bash. Deal damage to target enemy plus 0.5 of the weapon damage. It is, looks like it's a bashing type. Uh, you know, let's give you... Let's give you this black magic thing. And then we'll give you a strength point. Bertrand is our archer. Impaling shot. Deal damage plus could apply stun. Deal damage to target enemy plus your weapon damage and apply bleeding. Hmm. Increases all auto attack damage by 2%. Could also be sweet. But let's try impaling shot. And dexterity. I forgot to hit the apply button. Oh my goodness. Whoops. My bad. Uh, let's see. Dual wielding. Increase your damage when dual wielding. Okay. Why not? And our is dual wielding dex based or is that strength based? I guess we can check real quick. Strength. Okay. Apply. Alright, so we're going to have to reapply this. And then reapply this. And with that, I think we're going to have Anselm switch. I know he has a shield bash, but I really want him to use one of those two-handers that we got. I guess he can only use this one. And so now he will leech back some of the auto-attack damage, which I think is going to be kind of cool. And I think that's it. Okay. Orders? Uh, anything over here? No. Let's go, friends. Can we... Can we not get that way? Of course. All right. All right. So I messed around a little bit with the camera. So I, I guess to get the rotate on middle mouse, you have to have the toggle lock on camera to be well on. So anyway, mm -hmm. let's keep going. Locked. Now we were getting through here. Hmm. Can't we get the workers to build a battering ram? Sure, brother. With luck, it'll be finished right in time for Asamo Tahar's coronation. We don't have that time. There must be another way. So let's take a look around. Very well. Fine. Look, hey, maybe there's a path over there. over there. You're right. If we're lucky, that one leads into the fortress too. Don't jinx it. Okay, I may have went the wrong way, but it's all right. We'll take this side path now. And let's see. Let's have you go back here and investigate I'll take where there the is. Ours oh. That one's been dead for weeks. It looks just like you in the mornings, brother. Talismans are items that allow you to cast a special ability when used. Put the talisman to Cryomancy in the inventory to gain access to the Frost Blast. Amateurs work. Equip the talisman. Go. Um, I don't have a talisman in my equipment there, friend. Sir? Mm -hmm. What's the story behind this part of Nortander? Whose lands were these? House Vestel, a minor house loyal to Iskander. The house's patriarch and his wife got taken by the Red Fever, and they didn't have an heir. Interesting. What is it? Let's go. Okay. Maybe by activating the arsonist, like hitting the wall thing, maybe that messed up me getting the item, the talisman that they mentioned? Or is that in like in a different... Tab? 
Like, this is our only inventory, as far as I know. Huh. Look at that awesome two-hander. Alright. Charge! That looks like a way in. Command. What? No! Shit, they got through. Two arms! Heal up. Give me a moment, will you? Not now. You. Heal! Heal! Oh my goodness. Can you get that mage? Take them down! Hit that mage, hit that mage. Heal up there. Yes. For the queen! All of our people are out of like their FP points. Go up here. Heal up. For the queen! Not now! What? That's all? I don't think we've started. Woo! No problem. Right away. I kind of want to heal up a little bit more, though. Mm. Go yes. up here. Need something? Very good. Yes. Alright, so what does this go? The scaffolding, unlike the rest of the fortress, the wood shows no sign of weathering. The rebels must have erected it to further fortify the... I'll ring. take a look. Very good. Alright, everybody. Huh? Let's go. Charge! Make it quick! Heal up. Take out that arsonist. I need to focus. Pray tell. For the Take out those crossbows, friend. Not now. Heal up. Huh? Pull back. We're ready. Just give the pull back. Orders. Take them down. Attack. Not now. I like the flow of combat here. Move. Everybody has enough hit points so that you can actually get your abilities off and not everyone's dying immediately. At least not yet. I'm ready. So yeah, it kind of gives you time to actually utilize all of your people's skills. And the way that they set it up with, um, you know, the shortcuts, you know, Q, W, E, R, F, are all right there. It's, it feels good. I know it's kind of hard to explain unless you're actually doing it, but it, it feels good the way they have set these keys by default. For the right, keep going. Roar! That's all of them. Now where's that traitor? Good question. Yeah. I'd wager they're inside the fortress. With a bit of luck, they haven't heard the fighting. Irrelevant. Let's find them. Um, and yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. Oh, oh. <clears throat> I mean, here we, keep, here we keep going. Yes. Where are our heroes at? Oh, okay. So that is the front door, right? Yeah. All right. Of course. Let's go. Um, where exactly do we go? Enter the fortress got it. dungeon. Where is that at? Oh, that must be it. Huh? I'm ready. Onwards. Go! Who is this? Oh, boss character! How do you like that? All 
All right, gatekeeper. Maybe you should have fought with all your other mm -hmm. rebel friends. Let's see if we can get their item. What do you got in here, buddy? He. There's a talisman. Okay, why the heck did it tell me about talisman early on? Deals heavy ice damage to the target enemy. Temporarily applies apathetic if target is currently stunned. Oh, I see. So you stun him with the shield bash, and then you hit this. Well, you know what? I like that guy with the two-handed sword, so we're not going to... That must that be part. it. Good. We'll go in alone. Sir? If we march in with an army, we might as well tell them we're coming. If we sneak in instead, we might still have the element of surprise. What would be outnumbered? I doubt it. We should have disabled most of his men by now. Correct. Let's move. I like that you say disabled. Commander. My friend, do Commander. you not mean killed? Alright, talisman. Does this actually take FP? Let's see. You have nothing to do. Like, no active. Oh, you can't use that. Can you? Nope. Okay. So. Hmm. None of you can... Oh, is this the wrong slot, maybe? No? Oh, it was. My bad. Okay, there we go. Would you like to travel to the Fortress Vastal Burial Caverns? Okay. Elmond Vastal, Duke of House Vastal, was always said to be an eccentric, an artifact collector with an interest in shaper culture. He was patron of many excavations in Iskander, the last one performed right below his own castle. With his lands left deserted, the caverns below the fortress are as enigmatic as they are dangerous. Isamo Tahar could not have picked a better hiding spot. All right. Right. Uh, uh cancel? Do the locked on camera? Undead! Yeah, I see. Beautiful. Fine. I didn't realize we'd be going into another level already, but... Fine. Alright, take all. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. A lot of places to explore here. Locate the traders, explore the northwestern, northern, and southern parts. Stand. Um, Alright. Places. Did you hear that? Must be the troubles you mentioned, Carpal. Whatever it is, it plays into our hands. They won't hear us coming. More of them. Tiara's breath. What is this place? A graveyard? Yeah, that archer. Yes. All right, so let's go down this way to do the exploration. Right away. I'll take a look. Ritual dagger, dexterity. Okay. Strength and Dex plus one, and a buckler. Hmm. Maybe we can give that to our that bow. Way? All right. Uh, what's your name, Bertrand? If you Take wanted to. Down. Sad effects are reflections and the blessings that are applied to targets with certain types. Is that a melee? There we go. Uh, there are positive and negative status effects. As a rule of thumb, positive status effects make your hero more powerful, whereas negatives make them or her weaker. Yeah, that makes sense. Some spells gain additional effects or become stronger when cast on a target that's currently being infected by a status effect. We can read all that stuff in the glossary. Alright, well, I'm not going to do that right now, but it's good to know that it is there. Charge! Queen! Looks like that talisman has a very long cooldown. For the queen. 
All right. Oh God, what the hell is that? Hit it immediately. Charge! You target that down? Actually, yes. both of you target this down. This will be fun. Heal up. Orders. Let's go. Not you. Now. Make it quick. Hmm? For the crowd. Nice job. Nice job. Mm-hmm. Mm Acknowledged. Command. What by tiara is this place? What are these stone heads? That's a good question. Maybe there's a reason why Tahar picked this place for his rebellion. All right, we got a glistening mace. Deals additional white damage. Okay. Crossbow. Elven the shortbow. Crit chance 12%. Um, let's see. Let's take a look at these. So with that blue hammer, do we want you to go with that instead? We're looking at 8.96 DPS. Yeah, probably, because it also deals white damage, which I'm assuming maybe does more against undead. I, I don't know. I could be wrong. I do like the glowing effects, though. Crossbow. You can't use that, but what about the oven shortbow? It is slightly better so we'll equip that one as well for us again our weapons are locked and then for you you can use this one-hander but I think we just want you to stay with oh my god 10.71 DPS Wow okay nice very nice onwards sure excavated slabs are made from a bird uh, peculiar kind of stone like freshly polished alabaster. It is smooth to the touch and free of moss and earth. Right. Looks like they're mining something then. An elven claymore, that looks pretty badass. And a Solgrim's great axe. Damn. Take all. Now I'm kind of. Eh, no, we, we won't switch the weapon again. We'll stick with this mace. You got it. Fine. Stay alert. Hello? A lance? This is a one-handed weapon, dexterity based. Huh. I'm just kind of curious what that looks like. Who can even equip a lance? Apparently you can. That's pretty cool looking. Its damage isn't all that great, though. But still, that looks pretty sweet. Let's go. Jesus. <laughs> We're getting so many yes. weapons down here. Alright, so let's go down, and then we'll head over to the second area that we want to explore. Understood. Eh, maybe we'll grab this too. The voices are getting louder. They must be further down the caves. Come on. There we go. Padded black robe and a white hood. Let's see here. So you have the wolf guard robe, which is definitely better. You have no helmet though. There we go. Now you do. So let's not go to the voices. Not quite yet. Of course. Can we cut through? I guess we missed something back here. A katana. Huh. Another ritual dagger. All right, well, in case you're wondering if there were katanas in the game, there you go. I bet you the elves use katanas. Right. That seems like an elf weapon. 
Oh Take god. Get stunned. Easy. Make it quick. Orders. What is it? For the, For the queen. Yes. Good damage. Yes. Oh god. Oh god. Come back here. You're the squishy. Make it your mind. What is it? As you command. Pull him to the choke point. Pull him to the choke point. Mm -hmm. Shield bash. Charge. Huh? Another nasal helm. Mirror of the darkness gives us dark resistance. All right. Put that on you. And you can't wear that. I guess that would reduce your sight range anyway, so maybe we wouldn't want you to. Made up your mind. There we go. Hmm? Huh? Acknowledged. I like that the tutorial right. gives you a little bit of both. They give you the RTS and then that? a map just dedicated Please. to the heroes. Intruders! It's probably smart Open the portal that. now and kill the rest! Shield bash! Stun the crossbow? Yes. Charge! Yes. For the queen! Get that crossbow, man. What is it? As you command. Oh, jeez. Yeah! All right. All right. Um, Shield Bash is not up. Shoot. Not now. We could use a potion, I think. Focus potion. Focus potion. Stun Bash. Or Shield Bash. Wait till it gets up and then Bash or Stun it with. There we go. Pelvis and stone drives from the ground, swirl through the air, and dissolve some kind of protective magic. Alright. That thing yes. hit pretty hard. I'll take a look. Orders? Ooh! The glistening staff of ambient magic deals white damage in a small area of effect. I wonder why they didn't decide to go with the more generic, like, holy and dark. Just curious. Since it does AoE damage, I suppose we should equip that one? Ah, yes. It's glowing with brilliance. Right away. Elven Halberd. Fulgrim's Great Axe. Right. Ooh. Hound school. And how do you pronounce that? Okay, so right now that's 20 HP. Let's give you that. Oh, you can wear one of these. Sure. <laughs> it looks great on you, buddy. Trust me, it looks fantastic. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh, you can wear the Legionnaire helmet. Oh, but this that other one gives you five focus. Yeah, you should probably just keep that then. All right, let's move on. Mhm. Mm Onwards. Let's go. Oh shit. What oh. the heck is that? Doesn't matter. Just kill it. It kind of matters, man, but yeah, let's kill Get it. Ready. All right, so shield bash. 
Knocks him out of the thing, and then that. So with the Cairo Blast and the stun, I guess they're now in this. Oh. Knock down Fire Golem using the Shield Bash and follow. Oh. Okay, so I didn't actually read that. I just did that on my own. But yes, okay. Did they take it back? Or did they take it inside? Alright, okay. What the? Stop him! Quinn! Oh! This Quinn! is just the beginning. No! Anselm. Anselm. Sir? Get a healer in here to take care of your sister. She's dead, sir. And get a mage. Maybe he can track where that portal led. Wait. General? What? I think this one is still alive. Wonderful. A treacherous traitor. Remove that sack. I believe explanations are in order. Eight years have passed. Oh, After geez. you attempted to betray your father, Isamo Tahar, he tried to set an example by executing you and the other conspirators in front of his followers. General Noria saved you and took you under his wing. Despite the Mage Wars being over, disquieting developments are taking place, backed by the common folk. A cult called the Purity of Light has risen to power and is orchestrating a witch hunt of mages. Wow, okay, all of a sudden it's eight years later, Gwen just got roasted, quite literally, and apparently we, the player, are now this the son of the re rebel, Isamu Tahar. Okay, so we're going to watch probably like the whatever cutscene is here, and I'm going to end the video. I do want to play more of this. I'm just so busy right now. So let me know if you want to see more of this. I'll probably at least play a little bit more because I, I kind of like this. Uh, oh! Oh, well, I'm a strap. Oh, what's up with my face? Uh, <clears throat> well, that's okay. Oh, class. Oh, I was not expecting any of this at all. Ulrich Tahar? No, my friend, I am not Ulrich Tahar. I am uppercase Tokshin Tahar. They call me Titi in certain circles. Oh, jeez. Um, well, what kind of class am I going to play? I'm not sure what the classes are. Let's see. Keeper. Battle Mage. Swashbuckler. Soldier, Mage, Inquisitor. Offensive abilities that revolve around dealing maximum damage in close combat. Defensive abilities that revolve around improving your survivability and stunning. Magical abilities that allow you to weaken enemies, summon creatures, and deal heavy damage over time. That's healing. Archery, okay. And then elemental magic. Hmm. So this kind of reminds me, like, they called it an Inquisitor. I think of this as, like, a Death Knight. Because Black Magic, Tanky, and also does damage. That sounds, that sounds cool, but yeah, you could call it an Inquisitor if that makes you feel better. We'll go with... I wonder if summons rely on intelligence. I don't know. We'll go with a little extra tankiness. If we're going to be a death knight, I suppose we should be big. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yes, yeah, so that's the face. Hmm. Don't know if I like any of these. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. This looks like a generic hero. This is like the Roman. I mean, I guess the thing is, you're going to be playing this game above your carriage. Like, when are you actually even going to see your face? Like, how awesome does the face texture have to really be? I'm also probably going to be putting a helmet on, so like it doesn't really matter. Um, let's let's do the Roman, the Roman haircut. 
Definitely have facial. Okay, yep, that's a beard. That's a bigger beard. It's a, the biggest beard. <laughs> Want to go with some? That's is that mutton chops? I think that's mutton chops, right? Let's put some good old mutton chops on our face. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Oh yeah, there we go. If we're gonna be a death knight, we gotta be deathly pale, right? That's the stereotype? Who looks like a death knight here? Oh, that guy, obviously. Actually, that's a pretty cool picture. Hmm. I like that. That's just a person who has seen some shit, man. Actually, let me see if I can get some facial hair to at least kind of get somewhere close to that. Maybe like that. And I think this person maybe has longer hair on the back. Or does he have shaved sides? No, I don't think he has shaved sides. I'm probably spending way too much time on this. But there we go. What about the head? Hold on. <gasps> dead, dead. Are you kidding me? You said the whole thing? Yeah, Alright, there we go. We're, we're a death mage. <laughs> or death knight, whatever. Except. Yeah, I was not expecting character creation in this game. That's pretty awesome. Oh, cutscene. Nortander, the cradle of human civilization. We know war. It has been at our side for millennia, coming and going with the indifference of the tides. Our most recent sprouted from rebellion. For reasons unknown, a mage by the name of Isamo Tahar gathered the noble houses behind him in an attempt to overthrow the crown. burnt towns to ashes. Abominations ravaged the battlefields. Men and women were torn apart with a snap of a finger. Only a sacrifice by our queen achieved what none had thought possible. An end to the slaughter. Once more believe that their suffering has come to an end. They hope. They dream. But the tides don't change. Okay. Huh. The barracks. Memories float through their halls like fireflies in a misty swamp. While some of them are pleasant, most of them are not. Save for your friend Bertrand, your comrades shunned you, and your promotion into the ranks of the Wolf Guard did not make things any better. Can you blame them? After all, you are the child of Isamo Tahar, the man they have spent the past eight years fighting. All right, let's just watch the opening cutscene here and... Hey, hey, Tahar, wait, wake up! What in blazes is wrong with you? I had so much to drink last night, man. Like, uh, oh, man. All right, and there's... Oh. Uh, where am I? Where am I? Are you serious? What does it look like? Well, then. 
the Grey Keep Barracks? Well observed. You were screaming as if Nor himself was at your throat. Not the best way to make an impression on the new recruits, don't you think? <sighs> it was that dream again, wasn't it? The nightmare. Yes. Hmm. Look, I know I've said this before, but you did the right thing back then. Your father, he was a madman. Defying him was the only sane thing to do. Oh boy. If I did the right thing, then why did the others shun me? Not everyone in the Royal Army seems to agree on that. Well, then they are fools. All they want is a scapegoat, and you, as a Samo Tahar's child, are the best one they got their hands on. Honestly, you shouldn't need me to remind you about that. I guess we're just going through all of them? It wasn't the dream about the cave. It was the one I've been having since I was a child. Ah, uh, that one. Well, what can I say? You're one tormented soul, my friend. But probably that's why we get along so well. <laughs> yeah, probably. But still. Sometimes I can't help but feel that you still feel guilty about betraying Asamo. Just don't, all right? You did the right thing. I know, Bertrand. Thank you. That's what I'm here for, isn't it? For what it's worth, at least. The new laws will prevent something like that from ever happening again. Magic is dangerous. And your father and his rebellion were all the proof for that. We can't just allow mages to run around using their powers as they please. There just need to be limits, rules, and the new laws are just that, a rule set plain and simple. Those mages, the purity branded, they chose their own fate. They were criminals and murderers. Wow, okay. Oh, that we are a mage, that is very true. I'm a mage too. What if one day they decide that I'm also a defiler? Come on, don't be ridiculous. You're a battle mage of the Royal Army, of the Wolf Guard, for heck's sake. And you're not the only one. You use your powers for the greater good, unlike the ones who are being sentenced. Corporal um, Tahar, oh. I, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb. What is it? Lord Marshal Angar and General Noria have requested your presence. You and Corporal Carpel are to report to them in the Hall of War as soon as possible. What's it about? I'm not in a position to tell. All right, then. Shall we go together, Tahar? I've been meaning to stretch my legs anyway. Sure. Thank you, boy. You can leave. Of course. Corporal Tahar? Corporal Carpel? You should put some clothes on first. Oh, really? Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> now you tell me about the loot after the prologue? Yeah, I figured that part out. Thank you. Thank you very much, video game. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. I most likely will at least play another one because I just kind of want to play some more. But again, I'm, I'm just really busy at this, this time of year. Uh, but we'll see. Let me know if you want to see some more. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the first episode. I, I like the game. I like that it has a cool story. I, ah, well, well, we'll see. We'll see. Take care, everybody.